So clinically, in hyperthyroidism, there is increased metabolism of estrogen and there is increased production of sex hormone binding globulins, which decreases the free estrogen level, despite having high total estrogen level. Also in hyperthyroidism, there is disturbed pulsatile release of GnRH and LH, which cause the irregular cycles. So result in oligomenorrhea and amenorrhea because of decrease of estrogen level and disturbed uterine axis. There is increased risk of miscarriage, infertility because of low estrogen levels. And also the sex hormone binding globulins increase in case of thyrotoxicosis, which bind to testosterone more avidly than estradiol, so cause the relative estrogen predominance. As the result, there may be gynecomastia in case of males. And in case of hypothyroidism, there is decreased sex hormone binding globulins, result in increased free fraction of estrogen despite having low total estradiol levels. Decreased estrogen clearance so also increased the estrogen levels, increased prolactin levels which cause decreased GnRH, LH and FSH levels. So in hypothyroidism, because of prolonged exposure of endometrium to unopposed estrogen levels contributing to menorrhagia and endometrial hyperplasia risk, which increases the risk of endometrial carcinoma, breast tenderness, and also increased risk of breast carcinoma. There is an ovulatory cycles, infertility because of decreased GnRH, LH, and FSH levels, and there is galactoria because of hyperprolactinemia.